Uh, life has not been easy. Yeah, you know, uh, life has been hard. I would say, but some of us, we soldiering on. No, pay is not coming. No work to do under these hardship conditions. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes if I tell you, my, my phone rings sometimes, and then somebody will call me, boss, I need 10 cities to buy food. Boss, I need 20 cities. My son is sick. Boss, I'm sick, I'm in the room. Yesterday, I didn't eat the whole of yesterday night to this morning. Boss, please, if you have something small, I know you are also at home, but if you have something small, send it to me on phone. And these are the kind of things I hear every day. And as I sit here, I, I look worried all the time because I feel I'm also a net, but there are people who look up to me, you see, and I can't turn my back for them. So when such calls come, what I have to use for food, I have to give it up to them. And most of them, for my place like this, they can't even work aside because their condition was bad to the situation that they would only sit down just to take the money in the boot, change. And these kind of people, how do you expect them to go and do any hard work? He can't. You understand? He, he, he can't. So the person only depends on, right now, there is one woman at my place. She's, she's, even if she has to sit on the chair, you have to carry her to sit on the chair. So a person like this, how does he work? When she was working on the tow boot and she comes to work, the security men on duty will carry her and put her on the chair. After she finished with her duty, they will come and carry her up the chair. So right now, she's sitting in the house. What job do you expect her to do? You expect her to tell her, you're asking her to go and beg. 